to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Mendenhall. We're stoked to have you with us today. We're talking about one one wheel accessory that's going to allow you to do something pretty rad with it. Here it is. It's from Bear Mechanics. This is what we're talking about today. So let's get it started. I'm going 21 miles an hour. Ah! Scott Mendenhall and friends are racing. Let's get it started, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, go. This Sunday, everybody. My name is Scott Mendenhall. We're amped about today. We're downtown by the Minnesota Vikings Stadium. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you are brand new around here. We're always trying to spread the stove about one wheels and give you reviews. Before we get to started today, I would like to read a fan letter. Well, not really a fan letter. It's a letter of support and love and encouragement and all about Bear Mechanics and why this thing was created. Hey Scott, love your positive vibes. Thanks for your support. I would just like to say thank you for your support and watching our videos for everyone that watches our videos and love the positivity. A few of you asked why I'm not negative. I say this all the time. There's enough negativity out there. I don't need to add to it. All right, continuing. A little background. It's his background on this. He's gonna share why he created this. This is a story of how a uh, individual took a bad circumstance and turned it into good. You ever wonder how a pearl is formed? A pearl and a clam? A little bit of grain of sand inside the clam, the oyster, and it's an irritation, and it builds this silky stuff around the sand and eventually becomes a pearl, took a bad situation, something that rubbed raw, and made something really cool and awesome. That's the story we have here from James. A little background, I'm a mechanical engineer and a huge fan of one wheels. <laughs> Welcome to the club, buddy. Unfortunately, I got laid off due to COVID. That's the grain of sand. However, it's been a lifelong dream to design products with my brother, Leland. And I figured I'd take advantage of this time and go for it. Turning the negative into something positive. Here you go, if you'd like to email them about the product, right there is a little bit of an email for you. You can email him and you can go to Etsy to order one of these. You're gonna want one of these. James, thank you for sending this to us. We're stoked on this. Some of you are gonna wonder, how does your one wheel sit in this? We're gonna get to that. It comes with, when you receive your product from Bear Mechanics, this is what you get. You get the mount and you get instructions with screws. It's very clear. I mean, the first thing they say, and I wanna make sure I say it well, First thing it says is locate a stud in the wall. That's the most important part of installing this is that don't just install this into drywall, it's gonna fall off. A one wheel is like 27 pounds. There's no way drywall can hold it. So find a stud, drill it in there, and you're off to the races. Before we install this, I do wanna point out the, just the quality of this build from the way they put the screws in here. Look at that. They sanded this down with a really good finish. They took the, the corners off. It looks really good. This isn't something that they just threw together in hopes that it goes. This is done really well. I like the branding right here. You got skills, man. You've got the right tools to make it just this finished, polished product. So, James, Great job, let's get it installed. I don't know if you can see, but this is how we've been mounting it with these hooks so that we just space it just perfectly where you can put the tire in between there. It's really, it's really a makeshift installation, if you will, not the greatest. there a little lopsided in the room but we can easily change that by going to Etsy and ordering a couple more you will have an order from us as we want to install our children's on the wall plus a few more of mine it's a great way to display it James I wonder if there's one thing you can make to it where you can put this in part of the mount because I don't want to just display it I want to be able to charge it and this fits just back there but we need something that would hold it so you can charge it at the same time, get it off the floor, out of the way. 
without even drilling a hole in the wall, the one wheel holds this against it, no problem. It will not fit the ultra charger. The brick's too big, so that option isn't there. You would have to use the stock charger that comes with it. Just a little bit of knowledge for you. Give James a little love and his brother as they are trying to make a dream work. Give, go to Etsy. We'll put the link down below where you can go order this and you can display your one wheel in your house and get it up off the floor. Thank you for those that watch weekly. We can't do this without you. Thank you for all the new subscribers and watching our content. I love the comments where I hear you guys should be blowing up. Hey, we love telling stories from the tundra of Minnesota. We love making you smile. And this Sunday at 10 a.m., the race is a doozy. We head to a corn maze. This one is over, so subscribe to the channel if you love one wheel content and love following a family in the tundra of Minnesota telling stories. Two, leave a comment down below. Give a little love to James. Go check out his stuff. Three, turn on the bell notification so you're notified when we drop content because weekly we do that. We have merch coming in November. Hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs, and a stocking cap all going to be released in time for Christmas, so we're stoked on that. All right, guys. That's it. That's all I got for you. Until Sunday, be safe. If you're in the tundra, stay warm. And we'll see you on the next one because this one is officially over. Over.